Hello everybody, welcome to how to install Linux on a Windows XP machine. Well actually how to dual boot. Dual boot. It's because you pay for Windows so you should not really get rid of it. I mean why would you? Uh, and you'd probably want to install Linux so that you're more secure with getting updates for softwares and not be susceptible to viruses and what have you. So this video is for those users with those old computers. What I'm going to be doing is using LUbuntu, well Lubuntu I guess, and here I'm showing you that there's no option to resize your C drive, so what you're going to have to do is to use this nice utility that's free it's called mini tool partitioner and all you gotta do is just uh, open it up and shrink the volume to what you would like I'm gonna shrink mine to at least uh, 11 or, or 12 gigs and once you choose it's going to ask you to reboot because you can't partition a drive that's active. So I chose Ubuntu because it's not resource heavy and it's good for new users of Linux. It's also backed by Ubuntu uh, repositories and it's the long term support release 14.04 So here you see me clicking yes. So yeah, we're going to restart this virtual machine. I'm just leaving the screen up for you guys to read what it says. And during the reboot process, it's going to have a Windows type uh, partitioning looking GUI going. Kind of looks like a check disk, but it's not. So this takes a while. It doesn't take that long. I was going to say it takes a while, but it, that's a lie. When it finishes, it just starts your computer normally. And then your computer will see there's a new device because there's technically a new partition. So you have to restart it again. It's not going to show in the uh, My Documents, but if you go to Disk Management, you'll see there's a separate partition. And it's pretty much good to go and you're all set to uh, boot into the Ubuntu live CD. Now the disc that I use is the alternate CD because one it's smaller to download and two I think it's faster to uh, for the installer to go off and everything. So I choose English, and I choose, you know, install. It also gives you other options on the menu. I pretty much just go through all the defaults, English, English. Don't need to set anything really but you might have to just gotta let it go through its detecting and uh, loading packages all the normal stuff
host name, you can leave default. Type in your username here and your password. Now you've noticed that I've cut out some scenes to make this video a little shorter. Now I'm going to choose to use the free space and you can see it's correct because of the, the size of the partitions that it says it's going to make during those changes. So it's it's really easy. But I would always just back up your data just in case something messes up on your XP, install all your files and stuff like that. So it's actually starting to install the system now onto your hard disk. I don't need to enter a proxy, so you just click enter to leave it blank. You probably won't have to either, but if you do, that's where you gotta enter. And it's going to finish the installation. It's going to ask to install Grub on the MBR, and I chose to the default yes to do that. Grub is the boot, ma uh, boot menu for you to choose Ubuntu or XP or even a uh, memory tester is included too in the list. So there's the Grub menu. I mean, well, dialog box to uh, select to install it. And there you have it. It's finished. And now the machine will reboot and eject your CD. And now you see our options to boot into. This is what Grub looks like. I'm going to boot into Lubuntu first. Looks like it's working. Enter in my password. And would you look at that? It booted up just fine. And it goes to the internet. So I'm just going to log out of this reboot and test Windows XP see what it does oh this looks promising and would you look at that it works so I wanted to thank you for watching my video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.